We just finished Ends of the Earth, which is the last mission before the final boss fight. All that's left to do is to fight the Dread Queen. But before we do that, we should do a couple of things to prepare. The first one is stocking up on potions. So I'm going to run back and grab another health potion, another magic potion from Rajinko. Alright, there we go, we're stocked up on potions now. The next thing we want to do is pick up a few multi-crystals. Now they won't be particularly helpful against uh, Zitra, but she has a few henchmen in there, and multi-crystals can be helpful for that. So I'm going to go pick up the remaining multi-crystals. We used the ones in Fire and Hole. We have one left in the Labyrinth. So let's grab that. And we should have a few in Purple Haze. So we'll just grab a few of them. That'll make our life easier. There are still... Uh, there's at least one, I think in one of the fire levels, but they're certainly not, not worth going to get those. And I also mentioned there's that res necklace in uh, if you can't stand the heat. If you're willing to trade an escape ring, you could do that. With 11 res necklaces that we have, it's not a big deal. So I'm just going to worry about picking up multi-crystals. And of course we're going to heal up too, because there's a nice pit of Zeridium Brine here. Oh, we already grabbed the one here accidentally. That's right. This tile set makes a lot more sense now, because it's not one we had seen before. Now we have. Interestingly, I don't think that this type of wall torch is actually used in the uh, ends of the earth level. I think we only had the the ones that were freestanding on the ground that you saw. That's kind of interesting. Okay, there's one down here. And I think there's at least one more. Probably near the top. Let's go check. There we go, there's a couple more. Okay, so three from this level and one from... Oh no, a good number from this level. This will make life really easy. Because the henchmen will have to fight her trolls, the ones who take... I don't know, seven or eight shots. This will make it a lot easier to deal with them. You could also use a smite ring on them. Smite rings pretty much kill anything on the screen. I save those for Zitra because they're useful towards the end of the fight. So having these will be good, it'll make it a bit easier um, to kill the henchmen. Okay, and the third and final thing we should do is check in on Nimbo and Dimbo. If you recall, way back when we did River of Fears, we came across Nimbo in his lodgings. He, uh, well first of all, we found his stash in the central caverns. And then we found his house in uh, Rivers of Fear. 
and he told us his brother had been kidnapped, who we found in the labyrinth. We have not followed up on them since we saw Dembo and he scurried away. This is the time to do it. I think you can do this any time after you've rescued Dembo, but there's really no point to do it until you have um, finished the rest of the game. I think this is such a neat level, the way that parallax scrolling is used. It gives such a sense of depth to this river. Oops. There's actually another save point that we have here that's good to know about. It is just nice to have a few on hand if you ever, if you want to revisit a level or anything like that. It's just, since they're one-time use. Okay, it might be this door or it's the other door. Yeah, it's the one near the end. There's a couple in this area and I never quite remember which one is his his house. So it is the one right near the end. Yeah, so that's the end. It's going to be around here. There it is. That should be this place. So remember this is Nimbo's place. He was over there last time and you'll notice Dembo, no longer in the labyrinth, Dembo has re-emerged here. Nicey nice Ferrazzle person. Save Dembo he did. Grateful, grateful, yes, so grateful Dembo is. Dembo happy now. Hooray! I think that's all uh, that Dembo will say to us. So let's go talk to Nimbo. Oh, Ferrazzle, you have saved my brother most dear. How can I ever thank you? You have my unceasing, never-ending gratitude. Here are some items to help you in your fight against the Mondatraki. They are powerful. Use them wisely. A full supply of fire and Zeridium seeds. So what Nimbo did for us was give us 99 fire seeds or a max hour supply and 99 ceridium seeds. That's notable because we have only picked up a small handful of ceridium seeds. They're much more powerful than fire seeds. They do more damage. So they're probably the most powerful item in the game. Um, and as I recall, he just gives us an unlimited supply. So every time you go talk to him, he'll just give you 99 of these. These are useful when you're fighting Zitra. So you pretty much want to rescue Dembo, and you want to come talk to Nimbo and get this supply of seeds. Let me just confirm. Full supply. Yep. So anytime now, after you've rescued Dembo, anytime you can come back and just get a full stash of fire and zeridium seeds. I don't do it until now because you just don't need to. We had, what, 70, 80, something like that, going through the levels. We had more fire seeds than we needed. We only really need them in this final battle, so this is the time to do it. Okay, so we should use an un unused save. I have one here in Goblin Chief, and we'll use that before we go fight Zitra. One thing I'm curious about, you can also buy fire seeds from Elber down here in Iconoclism. I don't know if I've ever tried this. I don't think I've asked him to sell me fire seeds when I have a full supply. We'll see what he says. I don't know if he has dialogue for when you're maxed out. 
If he does, we'll get to see it. If he doesn't, he might just roll over the count, so we'll end up with 20 or something instead of 99. But we can always go back to Nembo and get a full supply again. Okay. Let's just buy five from him, see what he says. Here are a few fire seeds for you. I hope they prove useful. Okay. Um, nope. So he doesn't do anything special, nor does it roll over. It just stays maxed out. So we have 99 fire seeds, and that's where we're going to stay. He did still take our money, but what else are we going to spend it on at this point in the game? We are at the last mission, and nothing to buy. I suppose you could go and spend all your money on escape rings or ice picks. But if you have one ice pick, you don't need any more, and I don't think you can use an escape ring in Zephyr's Lair, if I recall. Plus, I think that escape rings are so hard to get to, because you have to go through so much of the ice level, the very difficult ice level. Um, without saves along the way, it's just too tricky. Okay. I am just going to call this final. This will be our last save. We have all the items and we are ready to go. It is time to go to the last fight.